Why League of Nations failed? Why United Nations came in existence? Answer, we had already answered during our talk. No. In a more integrated form? No. League of Nations was created to protect the nations from the conflict. After the first one. And what happened? They were failed to achieve the goals to protect the nations. And the Second World War happened. So League of Nations collapsed. You need to have one, another organization which can protect you. And then you created United Nations. Our professor mentioned in his speech that the United Nations supposed to be reformed. Why? Because veto power is not working. Do you know what is veto power actually? Do you have any idea what is veto power, guys? Some countries can veto things that United Nations decide. Something more? Veto power. Amazing point of the world balance of power if you need to see, you have to understand. Always winners are signing. Losers are nowhere. So those that are in the permanent members under the Security Council, who they are? Could you name them? So five countries. Who they are? Number one. France, China, United China. Kingdom, USA. China, Russia, uh, USA. 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 All these five members. Now, now you have answers. US, UK, France, China. UK. China. Oh, sorry, China and and Russia. Russia. These all five members. They are the stockholders. They are bringing balance of power in the world community. They decide where war is supposed to take place, where war is supposed to be stopped. And this is the answer. When United States, we call West power. United States combining with France, United Kingdom, they become on one part. And the second part is Russia and China, balance of power. You need reform. Why? Because you create two parallel power in two different nations' hands. And you are not letting them to decide one power coming on one parallel line, either it is United States, United Kingdom, and France. They lead the world by taking their own decision, and then veto power is there for the requirement to stop them. Similarly, if China and Russia is on the one part, and they make decision to lead the world, you need to stop them. So veto power is very much necessary.